Hi and welcome back to Maxim's Inside Track. Hope you've all been keeping well. I'll start this one with full cream milk powder. We saw a very positive result on the GDT last night. About 6% up uh, as a headline number and whole milk up 8 plus percent. Uh, no one really saw this coming, I don't think. The uh, futures didn't uh, predict that uh, lift. Um, it may just be on the back of a pretty hot, dry-ish summer in New Zealand and in particular in Australia, with milk flows uh, being challenged in Australia in particular. Uh, Chinese milk flows also down. Full cream milk powder prices, still reasonable value at these levels, so that may have triggered some, um, some demand uh, rather be looking at it than looking for it, as an Australian saying. Moving on to skim milk powder now. Once again, a, a great result with uh, the GDT platform offering up another 10,000 tonne of product. Uh, the futures predicted that this segment would uh, drift off slightly. However, it, uh, it went up. Uh, we have seen um, some uh, increased demand out of China and uh, yeah, we'll continue to keep an eye on skim milk powder. These intervention stocks have seemed to have cleared out. They may have been kicked down the line a bit to some of the, the larger trading houses. However, demand seems to be reasonably robust for this segment. Uh, we are seeing also that New Zealand origin product uh, still seems to command around about a 10% premium over both EU and, and NZ origin, which is uh, quite interesting. Moving on to the whey lactose derivatives, uh, production out of the US has, uh, has declined uh, a little and uh, there's also some comments around swine flu in China and the EU, so whether that suppresses demand, uh, we're not sure yet, that'll remain to be seen, but um, that on the back of reduced production should keep this segment relatively firmish uh, going into the next period. Moving on to AMF and butter now. Once again, another pretty positive result on the GDT overnight. Uh, we have seen this uh, segment creep up for the fifth consecutive time. Uh, demand seems relatively strongish and uh, it feels like it is a little bit of a, an Oceana catch up to US and EU. And even at these numbers, it's still about 10% discount to, uh, to US and, and EU pricing. On to cheddar now. Still sort of sideways movement with this product. There is inventory in the US, uh, Australian NZ origin product, Australia in particular, cheddar, still extremely tight. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll suspect that this one will track sideways to come under you know, some, some slight pressure. Uh, thanks very much for listening, and uh, that concludes this edition of uh, Maxim's Inside Track. See you soon.